We're going to do two experiments today. First one is going to be to see if air is trapped in water. And the second experiment is to see if fire actually does need oxygen to um, keep lit. So the things you'll need is a tissue, a spoon, um, a wine glass, or if you don't have one, you can just use a normal glass. doesn't really matter. Some tape, a, a jug, a fill, it, fill it with water halfway, a pack of matches, and a, and a candle. Okay, so the first experiment we're going to do is to see if water can get into something that has air trapped in it. First you take the, you crumple up the tissue and then you have to roll the tape into a cylinder and stick it on the back of the tissue and then stick it at the bottom of the glass so it doesn't fall into the water during the experiment. And then you slowly dip it in straight because if you do it at an angle you give a chance for the air to ex escape and, so, and for a, a passage for the water to go in. Then you slowly take it out, turn it up, turn it up. Use your dry hand, cause if you use your wet hand, you might get confused. If it's still dry, that means you did the experiment correctly. That was experiment number one. Now we're gonna do another experiment, which I think you guys remember, but I'll just say it again, to see if fire needs oxygen to survive. You light the match. Uh, sorry about that. Okay. Make sure you throw the candle, I mean the match away. Then you slowly put this in. You might need parent supervision for this part because it involves fire. Then you take the same glass, or if you want you can take another one, and you slowly try, uh, you put it in. But make sure the candle is under the glass. And make sure you put the candle in straight or else the water will stop it. And there you go. Fire does need air to survive. Thank you.